You know, I, I pray a lot about this change. I pray a lot about my job as, as a leader leading you guys. And I believe that it's one of my missions. A gal recently from the girls group uh, asked me, she said, why, why do you do this camp? And I said, because it's my number one goal, okay, to help wrestlers, coaches, parents, and wrestlers extract confidence in their mind and in their ability, okay? And in order, so that you can, in order for you to stand on the line, shake hands, and guarantee, you know, have, have a guaranteed mindset. You know, a mindset that's saying, I'm gonna dominate this match, okay? And right now, there's two or three of you guys that are that, have that mindset. Okay, and we talked about the different things that can give you confidence. Okay, repetition in the goal setting, repetition in, uh, in, in, in tracking your weekly habits, and tracking nutrition, and writing down what you're grateful for. If you have a journal, you know what I'm talking about. If you have one of the online journals. Okay, now you gotta read those things. You gotta go through the breakdown and actually use it. Okay, and then you gotta start creating a repetition of using it. That begins to create confidence up here. Okay, when you start telling yourself, you are something, or you're going to accomplish something, um, or you know, like I said, Kyle, uh, Kyle Dake, right? The guy got to wrestle in, in the quarter at NCAA. What did he write down in his journal? I will be a four-time national champion at Cornell University, over and over and over and over and over. That's what gave that kid amazing confidence in you. Okay, so even if you just wrote your goal down in the journal, that would be that would be sufficient advantage over a lot of competition. The other side of the spectrum is what we're working on technically. It's what we're working on in the drilling. It's what we're working on in the live sessions. It's when you hit something, repetition, so many times, okay, that you build confidence in it. Ty, where are you at? Stand up, okay? Ty Freeman is a little gymnast. He wrestles at Lakeside High School, uh, but he's primarily a gymnast. He's focused a lot of his career on gymnastics. He's crazy good at gymnastics. Um, amazing, actually. And one of the things about him is he's stuck, he is He's got a stocky build to him. So look who, stand up, Chris, all right? Look at, look at Chris, okay? Chris is pretty stocky, right? Well, when you feel Chris hit a fireman, okay, or you feel him pull to that single, I'm, like, I don't care really how good you are. If he's on and he hits that, and he's so compact and tight, okay? He's got a perfect body style for that. And it's deadly, he's gonna score with it, okay? Ty Friedman? That, that, could be, that could work for you, right? Sit down. So we talked about that. So for, in order for Ty to gain confidence, I was watching him wrestle a kid, uh, Josh, okay? And when he would shoot at him, he would shoot straight at him. He wanted, in his head, he wanted to wrestle him hard. Matter of fact, workout-wise, the kid can dominate workouts like no other. His confidence is off the charts. We said he was sitting in a squad at 90, and all the coaches were like, how is he still sitting like that? And he was like, I mean, just, just like this. I mean, solid. I mean, just and he's shaking. When he finally quit, he, he actually collapsed on the ground and everybody was done. But I asked him to keep going because I just want to see how long he could go. Okay, the workout and the toughness part, that's that part, that's checked for him. For some of you guys, that is already checked. For some of you, um, do, which doesn't mean you stop doing it, does it? No, you don't stop the hard work, okay? But you gotta get smart with the work, too. So now you got, you got something that could be a great tool for you that you just learned today, okay? And hopefully some of you guys that learned it today, it's good for you as well. And then you can, what? You can hit it and feel comfortable with it. But you have to hit it over and over and over and over and over and over every day until you do repetition after repetition, gain muscle memory, create a habit, score points, build confidence, start creating momentum, all right? Okay, so the mind, the journal, okay, and different things that you can do for your mind, okay? The ability, actual repetition, all right? Now I wanna talk about another side of things, and it's more of the, the, the intensive side of things. What our sport, okay, our sport's funny. Like, if you were really to train like a professional athlete, you would train, okay, very smart in making sure that you put your body's output when you perform is performing at an optimal level. That's very hard to do. So the, think about the best athletes in the world, okay? When they go perform, okay, Ironman athletes or uh, the world's best soccer players or Michael Phelps, 
or you know, think of these athletes and think of what it takes for them to perform. Okay, they are very routinely scheduled out. Okay, but it's very strategic on making sure their body has the best possible output.